In this video, we're going to install a Sonovox plugin that we purchased from Plugin Boutique. In a previous video, I showed how to download, install, and authorize a Sonovox plugin purchased from a place like Audio Deluxe, where we got our redemption code. Whenever you purchase from Plugin Boutique, the download and installation is a little bit easier. So in this case, we're going to do Orchestral Companion, but this should be pretty much the same for, for any other Sonovox plugin that you purchase from Plugin Boutique. So after you've made your purchase, which we have done, you'll get a serial number. You can click download here. It doesn't actually download the program. What it does is it downloads a PDF for you to read. Now you'll need an iLock account. So if you don't have one, read through this. Very, very easy to set up and install the iLock license manager. Now you don't actually need a dongle, but uh, you will need the iLock license manager, okay? Which by the way, you can always get it from iLock.com here. Just download it right there. Download, install it, and make sure you create your account first. After you've done that, open it up, log in to your account there, and we'll need to redeem our code. So. What we'll do is we'll head over to our plugin boutique account and we'll just grab this serial number right here, which of course I'm blurring out, of course, but just highlight it and copy it. Head back over to your iLock license manager and we'll go ahead and get the authorization done here. So just click in here once, control V and hit next. Control V, by the way, pastes in everything that's uh, in your clipboard there. There we go. Now we can authorize this to our computer we can just put it in our account for now or put it on an iLock. In my case, for now, I'll just put it in my account. Although if you have an iLock or want to authorize it directly to your computer, you can go and do that now. I'll just put it in my account for now. There we go. Successfully redeemed. Now, whenever we come over here to available, we'll see right here. We have this orchestral companion strings license right there that you can put it on iLock 1, iLock 2, or your computer. So let's go ahead and authorize it. Again, you could have done this in that previous step, just had it. Uh, activate it right to your computer or whatever, but I'll go ahead and just drag it over to an iLock. So that way it will go ahead and authorize uh, whenever we launch it. Okay, there we go. Now we have our license activated and we can always just take this iLock out of our computer and plug it into another computer at any time and just make sure we install the uh, orchestral companion. If I can find it here, right there it is, orchestral companion strings. There we go. So we have our license. We're good to go with the authorization. So now we need to download it. And again, we'll hop back over to our PDF file. And in a previous video, we had to enter a code on the Sonovox. Remember how we had to hit buy now and enter a code? Well, this is actually quite a bit easier the way they have it set up here. So we'll come back to our PDF and they actually give you the download file right here. I'm gonna have, I'll of course blur out some of it, but just click the link and we'll go ahead and click save. So that will save it to our downloads folder. So this download is going to take a while. I'll go ahead and sign off now and we'll come back once it's downloaded and we'll go ahead and go through the install process. Now we have finished the download of our orchestral companion strings right here and we have already unzipped it. So let's go ahead and get to the installation of your Sonovox plugin. I definitely like the way uh, Plugin Boutique handles this better in a previous video. Uh, we install from a place where they give you a redemption code. So that's why we're making this video, just to show the different ways that uh, you know they can serve you the download and, and uh, how to redeem your codes and, and whatnot. So we'll just go through this and our VST folder, where, we, where do we want our plugin installed to? That, that you will want installed to your C drive. Now what you'll want to look for is right here, select sample content folder. Now the sample content is, are the actual sounds or these files right here. That's all of the sounds. Now I don't want that on my OS drive. I want that on my dedicated sample drive, okay? So we'll come down here and choose F. And that is because we can go in here. I have my sample content all in here on this dedicated sample hard drive. Okay, so that's why we're choosing F. And we're just choosing F. We're not actually going to choose the Sonovox folder because the Sonovox plugins are hard coded to create the Sonovox folder for us and then to create the uh, orchestral companion folder for us. So orchestral companion strings in this case. All right, so just choose the base folder there. Okay, that's all we have to choose. It'll do everything else, all the other folders uh, itself there. Okay, now we have finished installing our Sonovox plugin, in our case, Orchestral Companion String. So we'll go ahead and click next. We need to restart our computer, by the way, before we start it up. Okay, finish. There we go. Completely installed. Now you can come back to your downloads folder, wherever you download it to, and you can delete this folder here. I would suggest that you keep your zipped folder and back it up to another hard drive, some other place. So that way, if you ever need to reinstall it you don't have to worry about downloading it uh, all over again okay now one more thing we'll check here 
exactly where we installed it to. So here's the Sunbox folder, and you can see it created this folder for us, and here is all of our content. And right here on the desktop, you'll notice the orchestral companion strings authorizer. We don't actually need to run this because we already authorized it to our iLock in our case, or you could do it to your computer with the iLock license manager. So we don't need to pay attention to this at all. So let me go ahead and restart the computer. All right, so we have restarted the computer and I popped into Pro Tools here. And by the way, as I mentioned, we don't need to do anything with this authorizer because we already authorized it with iLock. So we'll just go ahead and throw it in the trash there. All right, you can pop into it if you want, but you don't need to do anything with it because we already already authorized it. So let's make sure this loads up real quick. Now, this is not a demo of the orchestral strings. We just want to make sure that we have everything set up right, that it comes up for us. Okay, so there we go. And by the way, if your library is not showing up because, because maybe you moved it somewhere else, you can always just pop them here with the gear icon and change exactly where that uh, library is, okay? But it's set to the uh, correct folder for us. So there we go. Now I will demo it real quick just to make sure everything's working. and it sounds great. All right, so that is all for this video on redeeming, downloading, installing, and authorizing your Sonovox plugin that you buy from Plugin, Boutique, or other similar retailers.